we're both living in Honolulu right now. We actually moved from San Jose, California back here to Honolulu, Hawaii. I just bought a house here in Hawaii Kai. And I work at Queens Medical Center at the wound care department. Eileen works at Queens Medical Hospital. She really loves what she does and she has that spirit where she cares so much about her patients and she has the patience to actually work in that kind of field. Um, I know not a lot of people might like it looking at wounds all day or whatnot but I really like it. Um, Lester, he has many jobs. He wears a lot of hats. I do a lot of things. If I could sum it up I would say uh, entrepreneur. He's a realtor. He's a loan officer. He does construction. He's an electrician. He's an engineer. I'm really happy where I'm at right now and I'm gonna plan on doing the same thing I've been doing and of course expanding upon that. Whatever he does he, he really likes it and he does it with all his heart. I'm really happy that whatever he does you know he's happy with it. Living with Lester is always houses wise. It's always temporary it's because he moves a lot but it's always for uh, better and newer things. As far as future plans go, my five-year plan is, of course, to have a family and start having kids. We're definitely going to have a few kids. I say four, but he say five. And I want to have five kids. She wants to have four kids. But as you know, the last one is always unexpected, so I say five. We are both from big families, so we don't mind raising a lot of children. The more, the merrier. Just being back here with my own family and being able to support me, I guess, will push me and elevate me to expand my business and do the same thing I was doing in California, but on a higher level. We would definitely love for our children to grow up here. And I think it's very, very important for us to have them around our family, keep the family value babysitters. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Eileen, this is it. This is the moment that we've been waiting for. I'm so glad and honored that you have chosen me to be your lifelong covenant partner. I know it's just the beginning. God's best is yet to come in our lives. And as I look to the future, I'm excited. And I know that with you by my side, I can do all things and all things are possible. And I know that I will do my best to be the best husband and also to be that man of God that you have always wanted me to be and that God has destined me to be. I'm so excited and I'm happy and I wish that this moment could last forever. And I just want to say that I love you from the bottom of my heart. Hi, this is the day. I guess we are finally here and it's been not a long wait, but a wait. But we're already here and uh, being with you have been really wonderful thus far. And I know that it's gonna get better. Wow, we went through a lot. We have grown together and did a lot of fun stuff. And, and I know we're gonna do a lot more of that. I'm very, very thankful. I thank the Lord every day for having you and being such a blessing, not just to me, but I know a blessing to my family as well. I really admire everything about you. You are actually my inspiration. Just want to start our life together and conquer and dominate all the great things that are in store for us. And I truly believe that, you know, our most blessed and most best days are ahead of us. I can't wait. And I love you very much. And I'll see you soon. I'll be the girl in the white dress. Whatever we talked about, I was always drawn to her type of... Hey, do you think your mic will hear my stomach if it makes noise? My shirt ironed. <laughs> That's why I wear black, you can't tell. I just like my hair on this side because I brushed my hair today. Can you pass me my champagne? <laughs> One more drink. I think I talk too much. I just want to hurry up so we could go eat. <laughs> can we start all over? <laughs> Cut. What was the question? Hold on. <laughs> And that's my current living situation. <laughs> this, this is, is the, the story, story of how, how we met. met. <laughs> <laughs> Again? I want to do the video now. <laughs> Lester was drunk. I was not. And I just want to say that I love you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> that's it. <laughs>